for the descent of the Holy Spirit of God. We receive the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Note that I call them baptized young people. No one receives the sacrament of confirmation without being first baptized. If you like, baptism is the first part of the Christian initiation and confirmation is the concluding part of the rites of Christian confirmation, of Christian baptism, Christian initiation. In baptism, one is immersed into the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. A sacramental act that is permanent and unerasable. By the operation of the Holy Spirit in the water of baptism, they were cleansed from original sin and made members of the body of Christ. So the work of the Holy Spirit continues in their lives and takes another level from today on. So today, the third Sunday of Trinity here at Christ Church Saracuna, by the infinite mercy of God, Teobano and Ekunda will be indwelt by the fullness of God's grace. The gift of the Spirit shall be impacted upon them today to make them strong Christians and strong soldiers of Jesus Christ. I urge this worshiping community to pray fervently that they will each allow the Holy Spirit to direct and rule their lives as they publicly renew their commitment to Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord. My dear friends, by the special inward spiritual favor of this sacrament, You will soon see the confirmment by grace, through faith, the gifts of wisdom and understanding, counsel and might, knowledge and mighty and holy fear. And armed with these seven gifts, stipulated in Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 2, my friend, you should be able to have a right judgment in all things over time. First, by making your conscience, your conscience ultra sensitive. Another part of you that urges you on the right path, the ultra sensitive, being acutely aware of right and wrong then forcefully urging you along the right path. That's the kind of conscience that is fed and money, if you like, by the Holy Spirit. Okay. And being indwelt by the Holy Spirit further enables one to take appropriate Christ-like action at all times. Becoming like Jesus in character and behavior. That's what the church offers these two young persons today. My dear people of God, one of the reasons why there is so much pain, anguish, sadness, guilt, injustice, poverty around us, in our know, world, in our nation, in our communities, is that many of us are aware of the root causes of some of these negative events 
But we know they have the courage, the gumption, to take appropriate action dictated by a conscience controlled and regulated by the Holy Spirit. Confirmants pray from time to time that the Holy Spirit, the Lord and Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, helps you to have a right, right judgment in all things. God is good. God is omniscient. And that means God is never wrong. God is always right. Humans, as we are, we are made in the image and likeness of God Almighty. We therefore have the potential to manifest in concrete ways the good and the right latent in us mere mortals. And thanks be to God, many of our number, holy people of God, holy spirit controlled mortals like you and I, have demonstrated that we can allow the good in us to flourish and impact the lives of many to the glory of God. And I think of people like Martin Luther King Jr. Baba Desmondsutu of Suwaiti, Mother Teresa of Papa, out of the few outstanding human beings who have allowed God's Spirit to walk through them to bring rays of sunshine in the lives of so many, in so many lives, will never be forgotten. Now, the possibility of both of you being added to that list of mortals controlled by the Holy Spirit to transform our world, our society, is there, the possibility. But first, allow the Holy Spirit of God to take control 24-7. Theobald and Ehundai Believe me, the Holy Spirit, whom we will ask in a few moments to invite you in a special way, will grant each of you wisdom, understanding, counts, might, knowledge, piety, and holy faith. All of these seven gifts will help you make the right judgment in all things. If you left the Holy Spirit. First, by making you aware of the right things to do. Second, by giving you the courage and the will to do the right things always. And without the one or two, we shall proceed in asking the Holy Spirit to come upon you in a very special way. Thank you. 